Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. That is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a reader and a writer. And it has been a roller coaster of a week for me. I think with the change in weather, I just haven't been feeling very good, so I haven't done a whole lot. As you're going to see, this is going to be another fast wrap up. For my book wrap up, I didn't finish anything this week. I continued working on War Child by Karen Loichi, and I did not finish it before I had to take it back to the library because I was an interlibrary loan, so that means I got it. My library got it from another library. I did get a lot farther into it. I think I'm 60%. Normally with space opera, I can just like fly through it. It's really fun, really easy to get into. And I think partly it's because of the mood I'm in, but also partly is this is a dark space opera. There's a lot of trauma, but like a lot of trigger warnings for this. There's a lot of trauma. There's a lot of abuse, sexual, physical, verbal. At least in this book, it doesn't look like anything's actually resolved. Nobody's getting the help that they need from these bad situations. And that can be a little bit hard to read. So I'm okay with stopping at 60%, letting it go back, and then getting it again in a few months to finish. Otherwise, the story itself is really good. I like the teenage Jocelyn. He, <laughs> with everything he's gone through, it makes sense, his personality and how his, he's just like, mm. and with all the trauma and abuse that he's gone through, it makes a lot of sense that one of his things is don't touch me. And you get to see that play out a lot and how people around him don't understand. He does not want to be touched. Leave him alone. Because again, nothing is addressed. I do want to say the nice thing about this book is even though sexual abuse happens, you don't see it on page. It's more, he's, yeah, it's more people say it has happened and then it alludes to him remembering. But there's no graphic details of it. It's alluded to in other ways, like talking about how pretty he is and how he was the special one. So I also continued working on Slaying the Dragon. In a perfect mood, I would have finished this this past week, but again, yeah, just not feeling reading really this week. And then I picked up Terminal Alliance as a reread. This is the first book in the Janitors of the Post-Apocalypse series. After finishing Terminal Peace, I wanted to start back at the beginning, just be back in that world. And I think that's one of the great hallmarks of the end of a trilogy when it makes you want to start it again. So I'm starting it again. And honestly, I'm just going to let myself be more in a, the down mood reader. I don't know how much reading I'm going to do this next week, and that's okay. I watched the, a video about creativity seasons from Jen's bookshelf. And I think for me, this might just be a down reading time of year, or at least period right now in my life. And that's okay. I still love reading and I enjoy getting to see what everyone else is reading and adding to my massive TBR list, but it's okay if I'm not reading as much. For my writing wrap up, I did not write this week. I feel like I'm a broken record when I say this, but again, with the down mood, I was sleeping longer and just not getting to the time that I have set aside for writing. I am a morning writer. I can write later in the day, but it isn't as focused and I have more distractions around when I try to write at later times, unless it's NaNoWriMo, which the family knows, leave Rachel alone. She's writing. So we'll see. I know I mentioned in my last one that I am, I get to be a host for one of the streams for the Worldwide Write-A-Thon. Jen from Jen's Bookshelf is going to be joining me. And how I've kind of thought to do this is I looked for people that I was interested. And then I wanted to save a couple slots for anybody who wants to volunteer, who might not know me, but wants the experience of being a co-host. I know my first time doing a Worldwide Write-A-Thon, that's what I did. And that's how I got to meet Phoebe Wood, and now I really enjoy her channel as well. I think that the Worldwide write a -thon is just a great community. For other media, I haven't finished the video yet, but scripting the book that Nia, the fiction, of fiction does, 
or she always has Ben Peck and Natalie Locke, but I think this time her guest was Bradley Lejeune, and they talked about uh, Good Omens. I have not read the book, and I had not watched the series, but from them talking about it, I have gone and I have started the series, the TV series, and I'm having a great time. That is, see, I'm just in a TV watching mood, so really enjoying that, and it's exactly the sense of humor that I grew up with. I still need to finish the script in the book episode, but I enjoyed the discussion so much, I just knew I had to go watch the show. And so for the this week's Writing Excuses podcast, they had an interesting one where they talked about writing bodies and sex. It's not just, oh, you have a sex scene, but how do your characters feel? Do, is there a power imbalance? Are they both willing participants? Does one have more experience than the other? How do they view their bodies? Are they used to using their bodies to get what they want? Are they used to not thinking about their bodies? And I had never thought of a romantic scene or a sex scene to have so mu- so many integral components. I like reading books with sex scenes, not specifically there for the sex scene. So normally I skip a lot. Like I'll just like scan it and look for when they have conversation bits. And I know for myself, I am not at a place where I would write a sex scene. I'm more like fade to black. So I really enjoyed the conversation that they had because it makes me think of things a little bit differently. And then also I had the opportunity to be on a stream of Margaret Bernard's where she did smash and, or she did a version of smash or pass for SFF trips. And I'll leave a link down below. It was Friday night and it was a lot of fun. Definitely should go watch it and see how do we rank, what trips do we like? And then you can also leave comments of what you, you liked or what you like in your SFF. But I'm going to sign off now because my voice is going. Not been a great week for me health-wise. I hope that your past week has been better than mine and have a great day. Bye.